In this video, I want to talk about the difference between an asbuilt survey and a land survey. Uh, just so you know, this video is part of a series where I talk about everything about asbuilt drawings. Uh, my name is Jay, and I'm the founder of JCAD and Asbuilt LA. Uh, and let's dive in into this. So I would like to start by showing an example of a land survey, uh, and then we will look at an example of uh, an asbuilt drawing as well, or an asbuilt survey. All right. So this one is for a multifamily residence uh, in uh, in Los Angeles, uh, and this drawing is representing uh, a land survey of this particular property. And I'm going to use uh, a pen to just highlight a few things. So if this is hard or challenging to look at, it's understandable because there's a lot of information that we're looking at here. But I'm going to start by highlighting one of the most important things uh, about this drawing that it's representing. So this drawing is actually showing the property line right here of this property, which you can see it right here. Okay, this is to, to my best understanding of reading land surveys, uh, but this line should represent the property line. Okay, and this is one of the most important things about land surveys and why you need them. It's because they will show you where the property line is um, and how big it is and how long and how is it compared to the neighbors. So this is very important about land surveys. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, if we look on an Asbel survey, I'm going to look at the next slide. An Asbel survey, on the other hand, or an Asbel drawing, will not show you anything that has to do with basically the property lines. Okay. Um, and, and the reason for that is that Asbel drawings or people who perform Asbel, or who create Asbel drawings like, uh, like ourselves is that basically land surveys are actually created by registered professionals. Okay. So they are part of an association. They are just like an architect or an engineer. A land surveyor is a registered professional with the state and they also have a stamp. So they will they will stamp actually their drawings when they're creating them. All right, so this is a very important designation or a very important difference between as built uh, drawings and land surveys is that um, the land survey is certified, all right? It will have a stamp, it's done by a registered professional. Uh, as built drawings, on the other hand, when we're drawing like interior layouts of house of houses or buildings in general. Uh, this doesn't have to be licensed or to be completed by uh, a registered professional. There's no specific standards or guidelines for it as of now in the state of California, in the city of LA. If there is, you're welcome to correct me in the comments. But in general, this does not have to be completed by a registered professional, to the best of my knowledge, and no one has asked for a registered professional so far. So that's another difference between as well surveys and uh, land surveys, all right? Now, let's look at, so I was, as I was saying earlier, um, the reason uh, land surveys are able to actually capture the property lines is one, because they are trained uh, for this, uh, and two, they have the right equipment um, to capture this information, and they also are referencing records from the city, the county, the state, uh, for them to be able to capture and register and, you know, document that of the property, right? So that's about, uh, that's about uh, the land survey. Now, if you look at this drawing, uh, this drawing is only showing us the outline of the, uh, of, the, of the building itself, okay? So it's right here. You see, so this is an existing building. So this is only... My sketch is not really perfect, but this is only showing us the outline, the exterior outline uh, of the building. The surveyor does not actually go inside the building and draw the interior layout. They only have to work with the exterior layout uh, or the exterior outline of the building, and that's what they that's what they show basically. So, um, the the Asbuilt survey, on the other hand, which is what we provide at Asbuilt LA is that we actually go inside the building and we are documenting and drawing the interior layout of your residence or your office or whatever building you have uh, for the most part. So land surveyors will not even offer this service. Maybe some of them do, but all the ones that I've worked with before or talked with 
None of them really offered like to do the interior layout. Uh, they focus on working on the exterior outline of buildings, showing property lines. Um, and here there's some information here that has to do with the height of the of the building and the lot and how basically uh, how it changed like from the top to the bottom, which has to do with topographic information. All right. Uh, again, an ASBEL survey is not able to document any topo information or topographic information. Uh, we don't have the equipment or the training and, you know, that's not the service we offer. You will need to hire uh, a registered professional for that kind of information. Okay, so if we look here at a quick comparison now, like, um, so here the land survey, as I mentioned, uh, it shows you the property line. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, while the the as built has to do with interior information, okay, I should have said the exterior information versus interior information, but you get the idea. Uh, land surveys um, are, are 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 come with the highest accuracy, uh, so they are to be trusted with the outline of a building. Versus an as built, you can't fully rely on the exterior outline of the building just because you know because of the equipment and the method, and because you're working with. A registered professional when you're working or getting a land survey okay now the the as built often has to do with the building information the land survey is working on the site information in general everything on the exterior it has to do with the um with the topo like i mentioned like the site features it will document for you where trees are at uh, it will show you how the land basically slopes uh, an as built survey does not have to does not have to do with any of that and does not show that kind of information only has to do with the building and the interior kind of information of the building okay uh, and like i mentioned the, the number three like does not show property line it's not performed by registered pros uh, while the land survey is prepared by licensed pros and holds a pro step okay so that those are like the main uh, the main differences between a land survey and an as built. Uh, there are situations where you will need both of them, where you will need a land survey and an as built. It is recommended to always get both of them, you know. Uh, so, so you will need, like, land survey will document basically the exterior information of a lot, while the as built will document the interior information of a building. So that was it for as built survey versus land survey. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer to the best of my knowledge. And thank you for watching.